Hello my wonderful beautiful brothers and sisters so make gonna see what in the happen according to the intel I'm getting here early this morning. Early pie pie mm, our able brother will be Peter B. Where the now uh, that the hotel oh, sorry that the now said uh, Biafra died uh, 53 years ago. Now he is uh, doing underground work. When I mean underground work, I mean he is the one that is going to perfect the release of Mazen Nam Dekano. What does it signify? He let us know that when uh, the guy have turned back after Nigeria happened to him. Well, uh, I, I can uh, categorically tell you this uh, for fear of charge that Peter Obi means Petamba uh, uh, and also Governor Uguani in Enugu State and also Chime also in Enugu State. All these things is just to discuss the possibility of uh, allowing uh, um, Mazen Nam Dekano to come back home when the time is due, which is the 15th day of uh, uh, December in the year of 2023. So anyway, where they I beg gather here. You might not hear the whole thing here because according to um, uh, our governor, Governor Les, what he said, they are working on the ground. So the only information I can give to you here now is that P2B have joined in pursuit of the release of Mazi Namdekano. That is the information reaching me. Because I have told you, uh, my people, earlier on, that I have uh, agents all over Nigeria, including every part of the world. That brings me an authentic and good news to bring to my people. So let us read in between the lines. I know some things might not be written out there because of uh, some saboteurs who is going to compromise or sabotage the movement. But uh, the only thing I'm assuring you people is that our able brother, Webby Peter Obi, have joined the movement. Whether they will like it or not, or whether they will like it or not, he, is, he have already retraced uh, his, his steps and also withdrew his statement of that, uh, uh, in the sense that uh, Biafra died uh, two, three years ago, all in the quest to get Nigerian votes. But at the end of the day, even uh, he got the votes, but uh, Nigeria happened to him. And that is the prayer of every Biafra that may Nigeria never happen to any one of us. Anyway, my wonderful people, if you get this message, like it, comment on it, share it, and make sure you subscribe to my channel for more and more interesting videos coming your way. I still remain Amanda Net reporting live from the platform of Okute Daily Talk. Let us go there. The 2023 presidential candidate of the Labour Party, Peter Gringori Obi Onwacho, on Wednesday met the incumbent and former governors of Enugu State who have ruled and the one that are still ruling. In a post to via his ex handle on Thursday, Obi said he joined Governor Peter Mba of Enugu State, former governors of the Southeast State, Ifani Uguani and Sullivan Chime, in the MNA community. He said the political and some religious leaders were in MNA for the Episcopal or okay for the Episcopal Golden Jubilee celebration of their father in faith and Emeritus Bishop of Enugu Diocese, Most Reverend Anthony. Okonkwo Buchi. Obi added that uh, he joined notable Nigerians at the 70th birthday Thanksgiving of Most Reverend Valerian Madoka Okeke, the Archbishop of Onusha and Ambara State. He commended the Archbishop for his immeasurable uh, contributions to health, education, and poverty alleviation, especially his care for prisoners. He wrote, yesterday I joined my respected Nigerians, religious and political leaders, including serving and former governors of Enugu State, Governors Peter, Governor Peter Mba, Ifan Yuguanyi, and Suleban Chime in Emene, Enugu State. The occasion was the Episcopal Golden Jubilee celebration of our father in faith and Emeritus, Bishop of Enugu Diocese, most Reverend Anthony Okonkwo Uji. Bishop Goody is a distinguished scholar, a committed pastor, and a lover of humanity, who has dedicated many meritorious years to the Lord's vineyard to the service of God and humanity. Similarly, today I was pleased to join notable Nigerians like the traditional ruler of Onosha, His Royal Highness, or you can call him His Royal Majesty, Igwe Alfred Achebe, Senator Victor Ume, Tony Moye, Ifan Yumba, 
and Uche Ekunife at the seventieth birthday, Thanksgiving of Most Reverend Valerian Madoka Okeke, the Archbishop of Onosha, Anambra State. I commend the Archbishop for his immeasurable contribution to health, education, and poverty alleviation, especially his care for prisoners. I pray to God Almighty to grant him more healthy and fruitful years as they continue to walk in his vineyard and for humanity. In another development, police confirms arrest of uh, Mr. Ibu's sons and uh, also his adopted daughter. What is happening is what we cannot explain, but let us go straight and read in between the lines. The Lagos State Police Command has confirmed the arrest of two sons of popular Nollywood actor John Okafo, also known as Mr. Ibu, Daniel and Val, and his adopted uh, child, Jasmine. Ukute News had earlier reported that the wife of uh, actor Stella Maris allegedly ordered their arrest over signatory to the accounts to the actor's account. The Hollywood actress Doris Ogala confirmed the news in a post on her Instagram page, alleging that the Jasmine and the actor's sons were arrested and detained at the first criminal investigation department, Annex, Alabon, Lagos, over claims that Jasmine transferred 300 million naira donated to the island actor from his account. She wrote, Jasmine and Ibu sons were arrested at a Labon police station. They are detained there. Ibu's wife alleged that Jasmine moved 300 million naira out of the account. Ibu's wife allegedly wanted them to buy her new house from the money contributed so far. But Ibu's treatment, uh, okay, for Ibu's treatment. That's why she arrested Jasmine, but investigation states that the money contributed isn't even up to 300 million naira. A former manager of the actor uh, of, of, of okay, former manager of the actor, okay, manager of a Mr. Ibu, Emeka Chocho, had earlier confirmed the arrest while giving more insight into the reason behind those shenanigans. He said, Yes, they were all invited by the police. I won't call it arrest. The police invited them over Mr. Ibu's account. However, Val is left out as he knows nothing about what's, uh, what's been happening. He just returned to the country. According to Vanguard, one of the sons and the adopted child are in the police custody at the force CID, Alabo Ikoyi, Lagos. The last but not the least, let's stop deceiving ourselves. Privatize the refineries before Dangote exposes them. Speaker Abbas tells NNPC. The Speaker of the House of Representatives, Tajuden Abbas, has called for the privatization of the nation refineries. The same refinery they promised us that's going to work next month. <laughs> uh, propaganda, lies, and deceit. That is what APC represents. According to him, it has become evident that the Nigerian government cannot run some businesses, and time to stop the deception is now. Speaking on Thursday, when he received the management of Nigeria National Petroleum Company Limited, NLPCL, led by the group Chief Director or Chief Executive Officer, Melek Yare in Abuja, Abbas said the privatization should be done before Dangote refineries come on stream, according to uh, 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 Abba Yusuf, Abi, yeah, Tajide Yusuf. According to him, Dangote refineries will expose the inadequacies of the government run refineries and the inefficiencies will become more naked due to the competition. He argued that the condition and activities of the national refineries in the past 20 years are shameful and workers are getting paid for doing almost nothing. The speaker, however, said that the NNPC Limited will be supported for success and optimal functions of those nonsense refineries. There is need to make these refineries have multi-dimensional uses. If there is no crude oil, are there other activities that can make the workers to be active so that what they earn is deserved? 
I need you and your management to look at how we can turn around these decades of losses. One way to do so is to find a way to privatize these refineries who have spent so much money and the time and time deceiving ourselves that some businesses can be run by the government, but the end will justify. In the case of the refineries, we have now realized that some sectors of the NNPC business can only be handled by the private sector and our refineries are one of those businesses. The inadequacies will become manifest as soon as Dangote Refinery comes on board because the competition will be there and the inefficiencies of the refineries will become more naked. I want you to put uh, it as part of your cardinal uh, objectives. Let us find ways to privatize our refineries so that they can be active uh, so that uh, in the near future they will be able to compete with new refineries that will come up. Abbas added. Okute News report that during the visit, NNPC elbows assured that the national refineries will resume operations gradually on December 2023 and by the end of 2024, Nigeria will, will stop importing fuel, according to Group Managing Director of NLPCL, Mele Kiare. Where my wonderful people? Now hear me, I go take stop. Make on I do you this one the jollificate because I am coming back to what? I'm coming back with another blockbuster. Have a nice day. And may the good Lord continue to bless us all. The Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Please help me share this message. Like on it, comment on it, and make sure you keep subscribing to this channel for more interesting videos coming your way. Our campaign is still going on. Hashtag Biafra to the world, Biafra to the moon, all help Biafra. And on the mandate of Mazi Namdekano, we all shall stand. Please keep up the good faith. I'll be right back. Bye for now.